is Wednesday morning. We welcome in our friends from Indianapolis Moms Blog, specifically Candace Boyd Wiley's with us this morning. Uh, we're going to talk food. I wish you could smell it because it smells amazing right now. Uh, more specifically, food that our kids are actually going to eat. Because yes. When you got young kids, or really when you got kids at all, you realize that they are particular. Very particular. They have the, their likes, their dislikes. And like I said, one way to make it kid friendly is to make it kid size. So and small. Make it small. Make it something that they can relate to. That's one thing um, I know that I have to do with my daughter. If she sees it and she's small, she's like, oh, this is for me. Yeah, and she's so three and a half. She's three right? and a half. So the, it's that age. It's and that they're age. just so particular. So particular. Something like this, she's like, Okay, mom, I can eat this. This is mine. Yeah. She automatically thinks that if it's small, it's hers. So, so, so let's talk about what this is. Yes. So um, one one way I like to cook in the kitchen is to make multiple items at one time. Yes. The way I do that is using a workhorse in the kitchen, a muffin tin. <laughs> yes. It is amazing. So we have egg bites here, and you can make those really quickly. Drop some eggs, your favorite ingredients in there, and bake them up. Look and they're right delicious. Here. They're easy to do. All you need is, like I said, eggs, milk. You can have bacon, cheese, whatever you like, vegetables. It's one way, actually, I can sneak vegetables into yes. my daughter's food. Oh, it's all about sneaking it in, I right? sneak them in. So one way is with carrots and tomatoes, because of course they're, they're going to say, yeah, I don't like that. Right. So I stick that into my egg bites. But this looks way more fun. It is fun. It is, it's handheld. You can bite it right. on the go. It's perfect. And then they think it might be a muffin, too. Right? Exactly. You could put it in a muffin wrapper. If you wrapper, put it in a muffin wrapper, it looks cupcake. like a cupcake. <laughs> don't eat it. Don't eat it. It's so much fun. Well, let, you, oh. you posted two more recipes on your uh, your blog post that just went live yesterday. Yes. Let's talk about the pot pies. So it's getting cold outside. Yes. You know, you want, you want comfort food. Kids are not necessarily going to eat a, a pot pie. Put it in a muffin tin. Make it small, personal. Yes. They can take it on the go. If you're, you know, you, you need to go to practice or something like that, make a chicken pot pie. So it's easy. So what are okay? So you would take the biscuit dough, right? Take That's how you would dough. do it. Yes. Biscuit dough. Take biscuit dough. Press it into the tin. Okay. Get your ingredients. Leftover rotisserie chicken. Yes. Perfect which way is to do that. A savior. Every it's a day. savior, right? Yes. Use those ingredients that you have on hand. Yeah. It's really easy. Press press it into the tin. Get some mixed vegetables. I like to have it a little gravy in there. Nice. Yeah. You it's, want them to eat it, right? You want them to eat it. Any way that you can get them to eat something <laughs> healthy. So and just bake it in your muffin tin. Yeah. Easy. Twenty five minutes. They'll come out golden brown and tasty. Pop one under the plate with a little bit of broccoli, maybe a salad. You've got an easy meal. I love it. And then you got me a deep dish pizza. Deep dish pizza. So how are you doing? Are you doing that with the muffin doing tin? Doing it with the muffin tin. I love I'm it. telling you, the muffin tin is a workhorse. <laughs> it is a workhorse in the kitchen. People don't realize how much you can do with this thing. Yes. So again, take some dough, press it into your muffin tin, get all of your favorite ingredients, okay. your mozzarella, your pepperoni, your veggies yeah. that you're going to hide in there. Right. Make a pizza right in your muffin tin. Bake it up. Personal pan pizza. All right. Easy. So easy. Indie Moms blog. Indie We've Mom's got blog. Uh, the, the link for you as well on our website. Yes. I've also tweeted it out here in the last few minutes. So you know the direct link exactly where you can find Candace's great uh, recipe. Yes. So thanks so much for being with thanks us. Thanks for having us. And I love this. And it smells so good. It's, Enjoy it. <laughs> it's 926 right now. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back.